There's Paulo going up for the solo effort. And that was the most points the Vipers scored on the road this year. Of course, once at home this year against Iowa, they did score 142. And what a double. No defender there underneath, so went up for the one-hand jam. Yeah, two big high-scoring games between these two. Both Viper wins. We see the miss by Purvis. Offensive rebound to Sioux Falls. Vipers up 7-4 here in the first quarter. Here's Paulo, three-point try. This is a little too far. So Marcus Lee is in the game. Mar and Michael Frazier hit one. At the line is Marcus Lee, got it because of an ankle injury. And of course, Jarvis Threed is on this team for the Sky Force. He once won the slam dunk contest. That one in the, in the previous one by Tucker. Okay. So now, so five out of seven. Yeah. Nine of 11 right now. Nine of 11. And five of seven on the three. Yeah, sure there right. we go, there we go. And then Frazier gets this long rebound. Frazier one on one here, goes up. Oh, yes. Three minutes into the second quarter. Paulo is gonna go up. Had to alter his shot a little bit, or, or maybe a Viper got a piece of it. Here come the Vipers on the break. Edwards is gonna fire it around. It comes to Boykins finally. Boykins is short. Boykins still having trouble uh, finding the range. Monday comes down for Sioux Falls and then a travel called again and this game's going at a pretty fast pace Monday almost got a steal there off Bond but yeah, it is thinking about the three now drives inside finds Edwards Edwards got it that was sweet that was needed in the league I think Santa Cruz has the best record and they're playing at home tonight Clark kicks it over for Bond. Open three is short. Vipers hustle back on defense, gets uh, three back. So Sioux Falls for, for, for forced to wait. Here's Lee. Lee goes inside for Anderson. Anderson will kick it over for Terran. Terran's three pointer is no good. Had a good look to, for it. Frazier finds Bond, and now Edwards. Three from up top. And this is no good. And back comes Sioux Falls. So Terran, a forward, it. yeah. He's a forward out of Nova Southeastern. Could that be in Canada? It might be, yeah. yeah. Nova, Nova Scotia. I didn't think yeah. about that. I was trying to think where that was, too. They kick it outside. This is Terran. No good. And the rebound down to the Vipers. Uh, two on one, that's Frazier with it. Lost control of it, and it'll be Sioux Falls. Oh, Mayton with it. Got a uh, nine second difference between shot and game clock. Uh, Purvis trying to drive against Frazier. Now with six on the shot clock. 15 footer by Paulo is no good. Offensive rebound, they can hold for the last shot now. There's Purvis gonna shoot it for three points. No good, Stone has it with five seconds left in the quarter. Now here's Clark, gonna put it up. Oh, just short at the buzzer, and at half. And it's 58-54 Vipers. So inside is Maiton's gonna hand this off, and gets handed off again to Lee, and then Lee scores. Have its way. Yes. So Vipers with it, we're tied at 60 here in the third quarter. Frazier kicks it out for Clark, three-point try. He was hot earlier, Stone underneath. And he's got the offensive rebound, Frazier, and he's short. Underneath is Clark, he scores. The, the Vipers can hold for the last shot here. They'll go into a motion offense. And Frazier trying to drive inside with under five left. Misses, tip in, then Walker's there, and he got it. Walker with eight. Two seconds left, the ball comes in bounds. Anderson from three-quarter court. Hits the backboard and we're Vipers. 80 to 76, Vipers in front. Muti Abidius driving inside, slices between two defenders. Last 18 games. Has three tonight after missing both of those. That was tough. Are one of the uh, worst teams in the league, unfortunately, when it comes to free throw shooting. 
has been their albatross. This. Walker, when he was here, he used to shoot the free throws underhanded. Mm -hmm. Nanu is what we call them. There's Walker going up for the them pretty well. Yeah, that's a high-scoring league. Viper's a high-scoring team to hold opponents to under 111 times in the season. At least personally, I think it's quite an accomplishment. On oh, the shot by Mutia, Vidius goes over the backboard. Four now. Under eight minutes to play here in the fourth quarter. Monday's got nine points. Boykins from outside. He misses. And the ball goes out of bounds. I think it was last. The Fraser's going to drive the left side. Up and scored. The Vipers have struggled from the free throw line. 93-88 now. Crowd really into it. Vipers with the win with Clint's the number one seed. There's Purvis in the lane. Kicked it outside. And we've got a probably heard a whistle, but play continues. We're down to three on the shot clock. Purvis will shoot it. He goes in and out. Good defense. Yeah. They had to use the whole shot clock and took a low percentage shot. So Peyton drives baseline up and scores. And nothing low percentage about great night. 97-95 now. Under two minutes to go in the game. Underneath, Mutia Bidia says he's fouled. I mean, G League teams don't normally play it in front of these kind of size crowds, loud crowds like this. Indeed. Yeah, so this crowd has been amongst the most boisterous yeah. crowds the uh, Vipers have enjoyed all year. And like I keep saying, they come through late in the game. Oh, nice recovery there yes. by Frazier, but two seconds on the shot clock. No, Stone didn't realize it as Mutia Bidia gets off the shot. I think that'll count, and they get the offensive rebound. Wow. Wow. Maybe a little bit possession. lucky that time. Maybe a little bit lucky, but sometimes you make your own luck. There's a Frazier with it inside the lane. Gets it off and a big stop. Diamond Stone.